Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about Young's Modulus. These are some of the key words that we're going to be looking at during this topic. So, extension, compressive, Huck's law, tensile, strain energy, spring constant, brittle materials, strain, elastic limit, plastic deformation, elastic deformation, stress, the ultimate tensile stress, springs, ductile materials, load, deformation and force extension graphs and not forgetting polymeric materials. So let's begin. Material scientists need a method to predict how materials will extend when given the force, cross-sectional area and the original length of a material. Now Young's modulus is a value that assigns a particular property or you could think of the stiffness of a material. It's a value that's always the same for a particular material no matter what the dimensions of the sample being tested. And it can be used to predict the extension or compression of an object. So how do you calculate it? Now before we work out how to calculate Young's modulus, we need to know some definitions. Now firstly, stress. Stress is defined as the force per unit area of a material. And it can be calculated by taking stress equals force over area. The units of stress are newtons per meter squared or pascals, which is exactly the same as pressure. The symbol for stress is sigma here, and that's equal to the force divided by the area. Another definition that you need to be aware of is strain, and strain is defined as the extension per unit length. So this is the equation to calculate strain, it's the extension of the material divided by the original length. So here we've got the original length of our material, and if we put it under some kind of tensile stress, it's going to extend by a small amount, E, and that's the extension. Because both extension and original length are measured in meters, strain has no units. So here we have strain is extension divided by length. And finally, our final definition is Young's modulus is defined as the stress per strain. So to calculate the Young's modulus, you just divide a value of stress divided by a value of the strain. And normally Young's modulus is given the symbol E. We've got sigma from before, which is our stress, and our strain has got the symbol epsilon. So you can think of Young's modulus as being a measure of the stiffness of an elastic material. And now I'm going to show you a method so you won't forget how this equation works. So Young's modulus is equal to stress over strain and stress is force divided by area and strain is extension divided by length. And by rearranging that equation we get the word flea. Force times length divided by extension times by the area. Flea. Force times length divided by extension times area. And lastly if you like this video and you found it useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.